Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. So if you have been using Windows 11 for some time, you would know they're trying to change the default browser in Windows 11 from Microsoft Edge to any other browser, as an example, in this case, Google Chrome. And um, that is quite a process in Windows 11 compared to how it is currently over in Windows 10, where in Windows 10, you just have to change one button, basically one setting to change the default browser, where currently in the stable version of Windows 11, as many of you know, you have to change each protocol of the browser to the browser that you would like um, that to be the default protocol for. So if you want to change um, the default browser in Windows 11, you have to change all the protocols to the browser of your choice. Now this can be tedious and there's been a lot of user reports, negative user reports regarding this feature in Windows 11. And um, this is, could be set to change because recently Microsoft released Windows 11 build 22509 um, to insiders in the dev channel. That's the latest dev channel build in the Windows 11 insider program currently. And what wasn't actually mentioned in the change log of that uh, new build was the addition of a new setting to make changing the default browser a lot simpler by actually now using just one button, basically a one-click solution. So if we just head over to a screenshot um, of the default apps in that latest dev channel build, we can see now that Microsoft has added a set default button. So as an example, make Google Chrome your default browser. You can just click now, basically a one-click solution, which just makes it easier to set the default browser to your own preference. Now, unfortunately with this, there is still a catch and the button only sets HTTP and HTTPS to your preferred browser in uh, the dev channel build. And as an example, your PDFs, as you can see, will still open in Microsoft Edge. So, you know, it's small steps, but at least these steps are moving in the right direction. And hopefully this will roll out to a stable version you know, maybe next year sometime. And also, you know, by then, when you set default, it will actually change all the protocols to the browser um, of your choice, not just, you know, as in this example, because it's early days in the dev channel, it'll only change one or two protocols. So I thought this was interesting and just wanted to share it. And I actually personally think that this is a good move as changing, you know, as mentioned, changing that default browser currently in the stable version is quite a process. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.